Good afternoon. You know, it was two years almost to the day I stood right here before you at a Trump rally. Those were the days of complete Democrat control of all levers of power in the legislative branch as well as the presidency. It was Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's midterm election of 2022. And thanks to you and your work, we took back the House of Representatives by the narrowest of margins. Now in 2024, we have the opportunity to win back the Senate, win more seats in the House, and take back the White House too. Now I'm going to lay out the case here. When President Trump was in office, we had, for only two years of his presidency, a majority in the House and a majority in the Senate. And we put the country on a path of great prosperity and peace the world has hardly seen. Our military was rebuilt. ISIS was pr practically wiped out. Our border was the most secure it had ever been. Our streets were far safer. Our great veterans were finally starting to receive the care they deserved. And America was, for once, energy dominant. Everyone, no matter their race or economic status, was better off. Every demographic group saw higher wages. And inflation was at 2% or less. Folks were finally able to get ahead for a change. And why was that? It was because of the policies put in place by President Trump with the help of the House and Senate Republican majorities during his first two years. Tax reform and tax cuts were a game changer. The many regulatory reforms made by President Trump administratively and through executive order put this country back on the path to prosperity for every American not seen since the days of Ronald Reagan. And then Joe Biden and Kamala Harris come on the scene. Now look at us. And I state this point everywhere I go. Ladies and gentlemen, personalities don't destroy a country. Bad policies do. Kamala Harris and Joe Biden are proving that. Just look at the disastrous pullout of Afghanistan, where 13 of our great men and women in uniform were killed, preve completely preventable. The world knew then that Biden and Harris were incompetent and weak. And now look, Russia, North Korea, Iran, China are each on the march, working together to destroy not only Israel, but America too. We're not going to let it happen. Because of the Biden-Harris economic policies passed by the Democrat majorities in the House and Senate prior to the 2022 election, every family is paying through the nose for everyday goods. Has anybody looked at their power bill lately? Go to almost any restaurant and you're paying double what you were paying three years ago. Our border is now controlled by gangs and cartels. There's no telling how many terrorists are in this country just waiting for the call. Just a few years ago, we were energy dominant. Our law enforcement and military were supported. Now streets one, once found to be safe are no longer. Just a few months ago, supporters of Hamas took down and burned the American flags at Union Station, replacing them with Hamas flags. The monuments there were defaced. And not just there, but in other places as well. This was, at one time, unthinkable. But not with the moral ambiguity and weakness of Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. So we have a stark choice in this election, and it's not complicated. Do we want even more, dest uh, do we want even more destabilization in the world? Do we want more crime? Do we want more inflation? Do we want housing to be even more expensive than it already is? Do we want even higher power bills? Do we want an economy in decline? Or do we want a country that is energy dominant, a country that is prosperous, that lifts up every American and provides each with a pathway of opportunity, a country that respects and values our law enforcement, that respects and values our veterans, a country that respects and values life, a country that holds its government accountable, and a country that is feared by those in the world who are evil. For this is very important to understand, evil only respects strength and moral clarity, not the weakness and moral ambiguity of Kamala Harris. 
So in closing, every four years, we, the American people, get a chance to exercise our right to vote for president, our choices for the U.S. House and U.S. Senate, as well as all the other offices. We get a chance to reevaluate and self-correct. We get a chance to preserve this republic, this great experiment in self-government, and the founding principles that made it great. And we know what life was like under the Trump administration. We know what life is like right now under Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, under their disaster. And as Ronald Reagan once asked the American people in the 1980 election, you remember it, are you better off today than you were four years ago? I would ask one more question. Is America, as a country, is she better off than she was four years ago? Ladies and gentlemen, now is our time. Now is our opportunity. Now is Trump Vance. Again, personality will not destroy a country. Bad policy as well. We're going to get this election right. We're going to take the White House. We're going to take back the Senate. And we're going to add our seats to the House and turn this country around. Thank you, and God bless you.